In the U.S., you can find one in every town, every school, every college. Free libraries are ubiquitous to the American landscape and often taken for granted. But in Afghanistan, unfortunately, people have been far from um, reading uh, for a long time. And libraries do not really exist that much. So Sanchia Darwish created the first library for her hometown in Afghanistan. She's received a scholarship from a group called the Afghan Girls Financial Assistance Fund. Formed in New Jersey in 2008, it helps young Afghan women pursue an education in the U.S. if they're committed to improving life in Afghanistan. We raise money uh, as a nonprofit organization, but we're really partnering with universities who provide scholarships. But scholarships don't cover all costs. They don't cover necessarily books, medical insurance, trips home in the summer to stay connected with your culture and your family. So we raise funds to support and, and wrap around a university scholarship. Co-founder Joe Highland says the fund has helped over 40 Afghan students and raised over a million dollars. They help make the match between the women and a higher ed institution. When students go home for the summer, they fund impact projects like Darwish's Free Library, even the first Braille library in the country. You have to have a little sense of the culture they're coming out of. That culture does not support, in many cases, education of women at all. So many girls don't go to school at all. The illiteracy rate of women in Afghanistan is extremely high. I wanted this to be something where students could work together. They could actually have a space to read in order to um, expand this reading culture that has been lost to war, to constant conflict. The project didn't end there. Princeton Day School partnered with Darwish's library on a school service project, pairing third grade students from Kabul with students in Princeton. The global connector? A book. Because of the language barrier, we shared lots of pictures. Um, the kids did drawings, and again, they were very similar drawings, and I think that was, that was enlightening for our kids to think, wow, these kids, they draw exactly like we do. And the language doesn't matter, the culture doesn't matter, we're all just kids enjoying the same experience. Even if they're far away, we can still make the same connection because we both read the same book. The more you can expose them to different types of literature, different types of character, you're building a foundation that they don't even realize is happening. And as Sanjia Darwish completes her degree in international relations at Mount Holyoke College, she's grateful for her new support network of Afghans in the U.S. and hopes to inspire more women, more projects. In Princeton, Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.